Ahoy Scallywags and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Ryu Jinx. Also going to show you how to set up the game for a racing cab and how to load it onto LaunchBox. Arr, let's go! Let's start with downloading Ryu Jinx. See link below. After downloading, extract the contents to a location on your computer. See link below for 7-Zip. Open the new folder and run the Ryu Jinx executable. Go to File, Open Ryu Jinx folder, then open the System folder. Copy over your prod and title keys in this location. Now open Tools. Install firmware from XCI or ZIP, locate your firmware ZIP folder, and then click Open. Let the firmware install. Now we need to add the game directory. Go to Options and then Settings. Click Add and then navigate to your ROMs folder. Then click on Select Folder. Let's set up the controls. Go to Options, then Settings. Select your device and map your keys. Click OK when finished. To install mods, just right click on the game and select Manage Mods. Drag and drop any mods you have into this location. And that's it for playing the game through Ryu Jinx. The next part will be about setting up the game on LaunchBox. Open LaunchBox and go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, Add Files. Navigate to the location of your game file, select the game and then Open. Next, click the drop down under what platform are you importing games for and select Nintendo Switch. Next, under Choose an Emulator, click Add. Type Ryu Jinx for the emulator name. Next to the application path, click on Browse. Navigate to your Ryu Jinx folder and select your Ryu Jinx executable file and then Open. Click on the Associated Platforms tab and type Ryu Jinx. OK. Next. Use the files in their current location. Next. 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 Finish. And that's it. You're ready to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe through LaunchBox. The next part will be about setting up the game on a racing cab. Download X output, see link below. When complete, extract the contents to your computer. Open X output, click the box next to show all input devices. Should see your wheel in the list. Click add controller. Select edit. The top option will be for your steering wheel left and right. Click Configure. Move your wheel all the way to the left and then all the way to the right. Click Save. Click the right trigger and configure button and press your gas pedal. Save. Click the left trigger configure button and press your brake pedal. Save. Make sure to click the invert button after. Now go through the rest of your buttons and set them up. Click the box next to start emulation when controller is connected. Close and then save. Now for the next part, I'm going to create some auto hotkey scripts to load and close out of X output for this game. I'm doing it this way because I'm not using X output for all my games in LaunchBox. Download and install auto hotkey. See link below. After installing, find a location you want the script to stay in and right click. New, auto hotkey script. Going to name this script Start App. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Copy and paste the below line in this script. Make sure to change the file path to your X output executable location. File, then save. Close. Right click on Create Another Auto Hotkey Script. Name this one Close App and Script. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Copy and paste the below script into this location. File, save, close. 
Select both files, right click, and compile script. Now you should see two new auto hotkey scripts. Let's take a look at the controls for X input and Ryu Jinx again to make sure we get everything mapped correctly. Setting up the controls can be a little tricky. You might need to play with the controller setup to get this correctly mapped the way you like it. Make sure to map your A button for the gas pedal, right bumper for the drift, and left bumper for the use item. Now let's go back into LaunchBox. Right click on the game and select Edit. Under Additional Apps, click Add Application. Type the name of the script under Application Path. Click Browse. Navigate to your Auto Hotkey script location. Click on Start App and then Open. Click the checkbox next to Automatically Run Before Main Application. Run the same process for the second script. Click OK when finished. And that's it, you're ready to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on your racing cab. Mario Kart 8 is a great game to have on your racing cab game list. If you like this video and want to see more, lap the like button, turbo start the subscribe button, and blue shell the bell for future video notifications. Until next time, buckos, it's the arcade bar, it's sailing out.